That heel down is my weight transfer. That heel goes down, that side turns. So now I'm creating my opposition. All right? So my weight transfer gets me to the middle. Think about a punch. Right? So whenever kids really struggle with this, I get them to stand up here and I get them to punch my hand. And they'll do that. And I'm like, no, go ahead and turn your back. But you know, we're hoping to get this movement rather than that long movement. So you just punch and turn, and then it turns into a palm up, punch, turn. We have to avoid that. Then if I have my back, okay? So a punch is a good way to get them to, at least get them to feel like their front side shut, their back side's gonna turn a little bit, okay? So, balance and opposition through weight transfer. One, two, Heel goes down is my trigger, backside turns. And we're trying to hold this posture instead of leaning back. Okay? And my feet are opposed, which tells me that I created torque. So balance, repeatability, opposition to create torque. Okay? And I achieve those, I achieve those through weight transfer. Okay? It all sounds wonderful in here. I know what you're dealing with. I do, so don't, I know that it's just, yes, it's, it's, this is great when, you know, we're talking about the, the bottom four kids on the team. And those are the ones who, you know. So, my advice for you is, don't have those kids stride and just have them simply turn and hold. They can do that. Because if we start getting into this, it makes it so just, Turn and hold. I find myself saying a lot to little kids, shoelaces, I want to see your shoelaces facing the picture. I don't know, it seems to matter to them. And then they say, well, I don't have shoelaces, so. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyways, but just get, get their backside to turn. Keep in mind, another thing too, if they bail, they won't turn at all because it's their body's way of staying on the, the, the plate. So as soon as they get shut, you can, you can kind of expect them to be able to turn. Okay? Um, okay. Any question? That's a little bit complicated. Any questions that you already want to clarify? It's, it's okay. Um, any questions about the concept of repeatable balance and opposition in their feet? Yeah. How is your, how's your weight distributed at the end? Uh, is it still centered or are you more on the back when you're done with your um, it, It's Let's just call it centered. Okay. Right, some uh, uh, A-Rod is going to be more of a front foot hitter, right? And uh, uh, David Ortiz is a back foot swinger. So as long as we're in the middle somewhere, then we'll take it. Um, and both are, you know, should be Hall of Famers. Um, okay, let's talk about back pat. All right, the path of their back will allow them to have better balance. The path of their back will uh, um, obviously enable them to make more accurate contact. So how do we create that? In its simplest terms, we talk about swinging straight. That makes sense, a straight path is going to be the fastest route. Now, again, you cannot tell a kid swing straight. Well, you can, it doesn't mean anything. Right? It doesn't mean anything to you if I said that. So we have to put a determination or a label on what straight is. So for us, if we were to draw a straight line between my hands and the ball, there's my path. Okay? So if I'm here, I'm straight. Okay? Now, how do we translate that to kids? The way we translate it is by having them understand the relationship between the barrel and their hands. Okay, so how do we do that? The way we do that is by really working above the ball. What that means is, is that if I swing straight, you notice that the barrel is above my hands until contact, instead of below. 
if the mat drops below my hands in the back, this everything from my front hip, there's the back. Okay? If the mat drops below my hands, I am going away from my body. Okay? This is awkward, right? And he'll never hit that way. Right? It looks awkward. That was dropping barrel going straight. Right? That's not gonna happen. Now, this will happen. Barrel drops, hands go away. Okay? That's the most common thing that you'll bat. Alright? I, 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 I teach back path above the ball more than anything. Alright? Why? Because most misses are under the ball. Um, as Little League coaches, as much as we're not trying to teach ground balls, we're trying to teach line drives, but we also know that the defense has to make three plays field it, throw it, catch it, our chances of winning are better. So I'm not telling you to just preach ground balls, and I'll show you what I mean by that. But we are working above the ball because it's straight, okay? So we call it attack angle. We need to have a downhill attack angle. A downhill attack angle. 